What's going on YouTube, GSNumerate here. So in today's video we're discussing some important things about Trollstore 2, especially if you're on a wrong iOS version and it doesn't support Trollstore 2, you might be able to migrate to a version that will get Trollstore 2 very very soon. We're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SimLock. Check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know, Trollstore 2 is now out. This allows you to install applications without signing them, without having to worry about revokes or the application expiring in seven days. Once you install an application with Trollstore, it stays on the device forever until you delete it, which is definitely nice. However, it does support a specific range of iOS versions. So when it was released, it started supporting iOS 15.5 all the way up to 16.6.1 and iOS 17.0. However, there is a big range of iOS 16 versions that are not supported. So if you go ahead and hear on this article on my website, you can learn more about how this works, on what bug is based and how to install it and stuff. But there's also the support devices. Here on this website I'm telling you exactly what to do depending on what device you have, what iOS version. If you're running 15.5 up to 15.7.6 or 16.0 up to 16.5. But what if you have something newer than iOS 16.7.8? X. Well, in that case, you may not be able to use Trollstore 2 because it's not compatible. However, you can use Delay OTA to go to iOS 17, which is supported by Trollstore 2. Now, there is a catch to this. Trollstore 2 currently doesn't have any install method available for iOS 17, but that's not exactly hard. We do theoretically have a Mugdirty Cow like exploit for iOS 17. It's not publicly available, but it was patched in iOS 17 point something, and we might be able to use that as an install method for Trollstore 2 on iOS 17. I'm sure somebody will figure it out eventually. However, it's much better than being on iOS 16.7.x because those iOS versions will never be supported because the Core Trust bug is basically patched in there. So if you have anything ranging from iOS 16.7 up to 16.7.2, it's not going to be supported anytime soon. If you have anything on iOS 17.0.1 and newer, again, it will never be supported because the Core Trust bug was patched. Now what can you do if you're running 16.7 up to 16.7.2? You should right now, right in the second, go ahead here on delayed OTAs. I'm going to link this page below. And here you can see that for the iOS 17 supported devices, you can actually still update the iOS 17.0, which is this build over here, until December the 20th for like two more weeks. After that, you will no longer be able to do this ever again. So if you want to update iOS 17 in order to use Trollstore, at some point in the near future, you should definitely go ahead and do that now. You download the profile and you will be able to OTA update to iOS 17. It will appear as a normal update after you reboot the phone. I will make this guide available on how to use iOS delay OTA profiles and how to install unsigned iOS versions in the description down below and in a pinned comment. This article of mine from back in August should contain everything you need to know about how you can supervise your device and install the profile and use that to install iOS 17. Now as you can see over here there is a table with all the available current profiles. Now if you get 17.0.1 or 17.0.2 you can see that these have a longer time until they expire however these are no good iOS 17.0.1 already patched the Core Trust bug that is used in Trollstore 2. So that's basically it. You have to get the uh, article over here, the link will be below, and install whatever application you can install for supervision. And then, of course, you will be able to install iOS 17.0. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. Do this while you still can. Come December 21st, you will no longer be able to do this. The profile would have expired by then. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Subscribe to stay updated. And peace out.